we're now looking at one of my artworks set out to explore pure traditional Chinese contents over the Western school of artistic language and media. And in this case, of course, it's a canvas for oil. And the particular subject of this very painting is what the Chinese call Mei Hua. Uh, there, there are many uh, English words for it and it's pretty confusing. But anyway, uh, the one I would adapt would be Plum Blossom Tree. Now, this is one of the four very significant symbols in the Chinese culture, at least within the circle of the um, classical Chinese cultural elite art school. We talked about that all visual arts communicated with certain symbols, and this is one of the four plants in the Chinese culture represent specific given meaning. This is the kind of tree in old Chinese culture you would see a lot of the poems and paintings with this as subject because in the, in the Chinese culture it represents one of the four seasons and this is the one to open with to represent spring specifically and then also this is the kind of plant that the Chinese culture at least chose to represent their own personal integrity so with this context on your mind now let's look at the uh, painting itself I did not pay much attention to the colors and the shapes of those flowers on the tree. H however, I did actually put some attention to the um, fallen flowers from the tree onto the grass because in the Chinese culture, this is specifically appreciated as the um, Peter's witness and um, it represents the philosophical part of it in comparison to the uh, flowers in blossom on the tree those flower fell up to the uh, grass are hinting on the season coming up so that the beautiful spring will be over and then let's look at the um, specific techniques why did I pay more attention to the tree trunk and the branches this was specifically because I try to replicate the visual effect created by ink brush uh, strokes whereas I was using oil paint and uh, all those strokes I created were with the um, palette knives. Personally, I do believe it looks close enough to ink brush strokes. And that was the uh, specific technical challenge I set out for myself. And I ended up with satisfaction. Hopefully, you find it satisfactory and pleasant as well. Once again, it is representing the beautiful spring, uh, the promises of your lifetime symbolically. Of course, this is so metaphorically depicted and that I hope could be associated to the traditional Chinese ink brush paintings with the same subjects obviously different techniques derived from different mediums and uh, that is something hopefully I am getting myself closer to the 
classical Chinese cultural elite art school.